Now, welcome to another edition of Revealing God. I'm your host, Brad Victor. Today, we're talking about or continue our series titled School of Spiritual Warfare. We've already dealt with it and showed that deception and sin are major things that they were using to war against Christians. And, you know, God wants you to be blessed, but many people go about it the wrong way. So I want to show you a way to be blessed and, you know, overcome the work of Satan at the same time. Now, many people first start by trying to work hard before they get blessed and they are missing out because there's a foundation to it. And I said before that foundation of being blessed when you inherit or to get your inheritance in Christ Jesus is to try to deal with the issue of sin. That's why Jesus Christ came. That why Adam and Eve lost out of all what God provided for them in the kind of Eden and all of what God made for mankind was lost to the devil. So we have to understand that we need to nip sin in the box. Now, if you look at Psalm chapter 1, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. That means he does not listen to sinful things. Because when you listen to sinful things, you eventually will act them out. Just requires time. That's how sin is applied to the mind of people. The more you listen to sin, the more it starts to grow, grow until you are unable, you know, able to con- unable to control it, then you fall into that sin. Number two, it says stand does not stand in the way of sinners. That means it doesn't just go to a single place. No, you go to a place where there is sin, you're bound to miss sin there. So you can't say, Oh, I just I just stumbled on born sin. You went to look for sin. Because if you go to a place where people are, you know, committing prostitution or all kinds of things that are, you know, immoral then you position yourself to fall into sin. So you, you should not stand in the way of sinners. Number three, sit in the seat of scoffer. That means you're sitting with somebody discussing and gossiping and you know blaspheming and also slandering people. That's the work of the devil. When you do that, you find out you are sinning by just sitting in one place. So he said, if you don't do all this, but your delight is in the law, of the Lord, that means in the word of God, your delight is in the word of God, then you meditate on it day and night. Just not just not just read the word, think on it over and over until it produces result. You know, the way things start is by you first listening, then thinking about it, then talking about it. This is our process of meditation, but in the negative side. But say now use this in the positive side by taking the word of God, delighting yourself in studying it, reading it then thinking on it, then you shall be like a you know, tree planted by the rivers of water. Then whatever you do shall prosper. So coming to plant and walk. Because no matter how you bless, no matter how you Bible, because Christians make this mistake. They believe the scriptures, they, they, in fact, they, they try to avoid sin as much as possible, but they don't have anything they are planting. They don't have anything they are walking. Therefore, you see the people who are planting it and walking at, and they are reaping benefits, but in the wrong way. So you can't just say you're a Christian and, you know, you want to prosper. Then you just keep to only being holy without any work. You must do something. God has given you some gifts. Use those gifts to bring forth results. So when you start working with the gifts God has given you, the, you know, things that God can bless, then you get blessed because devil cannot steal from you. So this is how to work in this principle. That's why you can enjoy a blessed life. You must walk away from sin. You must also try to have something you're doing. That's what God will bless. So don't start backward and don't just end in the middle. But if you're not born again, all this doesn't make sense. You need to be born again to where you can overcome sin. You can overcome sin without what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary, dying and rising again from the dead to where you can get the gift of eternal life. So if you're not born again, say the prayer on the screen, and you're really born again, then tell us about Jesus Christ and do as much as possible to read the Bible, meditate on it where you, you can overcome sin. So I'll proceed again. God bless you for your time.